Okay, uh, Faramazula. Yeah, I don't want to be here. This is like exactly, okay. So I think I landed here. I think I landed here. How's Oz treating you? Oh my God. How did I never make the link to Oz? I think I made a joke about not being in Kansas anymore, but I didn't think this was Oz, which is like hilarious because that's where you end up if you're not in Kansas, right? Uh, what are we doing? So I'm trying to get to the start uh, of the level because I do not remember where you start uh, because this place is a is a maze. I think this is where you start. So you end up on the bridge and you fall down here. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find some hidden stuff. Uh, I don't know what, but I just, I feel like this place is too big to not be... Wait, is that Malakas Arena right there? Oh my gosh, I never noticed. So you arrive here and the first thing you see is the opposite angle of Malakas Arena. Isn't that great? That's so cool. Wow. I didn't notice that. That's so nice. In fact, if I had looked too hard there, I might have realized that's the place from the uh, from the opening cutscene. Uh, sorry, not the opening cutscene. One of the load screens. Yeah, so they're like, hey, by the way, you're going to end up over here. And then you end up going all the way in a big circle and you end up here. All right. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this area. Um, it feels like I got to look down a lot more. Find things you can jump to. Also, as you all know, I am hard stuck on Melania at the moment, and honestly, I, I think I'm in a better state to deal with her today. I, I just was not into her stuff. I just was not. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't really like her. It's a real pity. I'm a massive fan of, uh, of her and her lore, but I'm like kind of depressed. Rather fight SS Ishin or Gale? Yeah, dude, Ishin is a clean fight. Ishin is is very fun, even though he's hard as hell. Do you know what I mean? He feels perfectly fair. You have to get better. Is type 2 fun? Not fun what you're doing, but fun looking back. I, I'm gonna not like her at the end. I'm gonna I, I already know, unfortunately. I tried really hard, but I'm not gonna like her. Um like her fight. It's not gonna be the type of thing that I appreciate. Same as Malaketh. I, I have a problem with Malaketh. I don't really like him. Um, but I like him at the same time, like he just didn't wall me as hard, but he just feels messy. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that a lot of the people who were ahead of me in the game, uh, I agree with them. That a lot of people were like on Twitter and like, oh, I don't like the end game bosses. I think people who are saying they like the game haven't beaten all the bosses, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ooh, that's spicy. I'm curious what I'll think when I get there. And like, yeah, I'm with them. I think the game's a little messy, especially near the end. It doesn't feel like clean, well-designed difficulty. It just feels like, how much bullshit can we put in this fight that is, that feels undodgeable unless you're a very high level player. Um, also, Melania kind of feels like you have to respect just to fight her. Like, it feels like you have to change your build just to deal with her. Um, for like an average person, like me. Like, I, I'm not very good at this game. Like, I get through it, right? But like, I'm not like, hitless, broken straight sword god or anything. I'm just an average, average dingus. What do you mean by messy? I don't know how to characterize it because in the end it's like a subjective opinion, but it feels like you have to be absolutely frame perfect to dodge everything. It feels like the game is not designed for the type of fight that they're in. Um, like it feels like there are times where I, I predict that Melania is going to do a certain move and I time like two dodges to dodge both. But I get hit by the second one because you're literally not able to dodge fast enough. But maybe if I reacted faster, I'd dodge both because I'd be in, in iframes on the second hit. But it's because I'm too slow. So it makes me feel like the way that I like to play is not... I'm not good enough to beat her the way that I'm supposed to. And it doesn't feel clean. Oh my lord. That is definitely a path. That's confirmed to me now. Okay, I've been looking at this thing. I remember this, by the way. I was looking and I'm like, this is probably a f***ed up path they expect me to take. And then I see this. Yeah, that's a path they expect me to take. So it's right around this area. 
is to kind of put a marker on it. But like below. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Um, yeah, so the bots reuse doesn't bother me, I guess, is what I'll say. Are people being really tempted to spoil? You're not clever, stop. Nobody asked. Honestly, it's a shortcut. These beautiful guys, what info do people already have on them? What are they? So they are... very ill. Cursed, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, they are afflicted by... They, they're probably, in some way, shape, or form, those who live in death, but perhaps indirectly. They appear to pray and cry and vomit. They're basically just, like, disgusting beings, everything about them. Like, they got, like, gross-ass, like, worm faces, you know? They're also really interestingly wrapped up. It makes me think of, like, curse bindings. Do you see the, the sort of cloth all around them? But it's also kind of decorative. Um, but they effectively, uh, what do you call it? They spread death blight. And there is death blight evidence, like the roots, closer to Maliketh. And of course, Maliketh's loss of the, the piece of rune of... Maliketh lost, lost a piece of the rune of death. And as a result, the those who live in death started. Already complete this arena? Well, yeah, but... I obviously missed stuff in Fair Missoula, so I'm double checking everything. That's the whole point. Try to accept something, something Malekith. Like, they're obviously really warped beings, and it's kind of interesting because another creature that builds Death Blight is Basilisks. So, similar to how they spread curse in other games, it's probably just a reference to that, but I really think the idea of a natural being afflicting curses. Like, I don't think Basilisks are natural beings. You know what I mean? And I think there's further evidence of that here. All right, there we go. So we're getting close to like the marker that I left. We have to get as low as possible. And looking at that, that looks like here. And I see an enemy there. So that's promising. But wait, 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 no, no, no. There was a, there was a, a, a like a drop down. I saw it. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I know where we go. That was intentionally confusing. Definitely, yeah. But I mean, I already have enough confusion when exploring. Yep, I definitely have to go down there. I wish I could see where, though, because it can't quite be visible. But, like, I think I see a prox. Like, it was below this platform. Huh? Huh? Sweater lore? Uh, I bought it for myself for Crimbus. Look! Look! I found it! I think, because this is new, because I have I didn't get the purple. So, like, I'm, this is new. Stop storm stomping me, you snake. Imagine if we praised in Anor Londo. We couldn't. They don't understand us. Okay, okay. This is definitely... Okay, I don't know that I found it, but I found something. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're getting to... <gasps> there! Okay, 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 wait. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so... Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Wait! 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 Wah! Is it there? Hang on, I think I found it. These guys just Omega lost? Well, they're banished knights, so they just went to hell, apparently. Waits? You're gonna be waiting a minute, but I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I'm ready to teleport to my next spot. I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you. Go home. Oh, wait, you're banished. You don't have a home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! It was a joke! It was a prank! Oh, shit. Oh, I thought you were wholesome? Why? Oh, God! <laughs> Stupid Storm Knights. Go live in a storm if you like it so much. And they were like, maybe I will! Be nice to the... I, for some reason, I thought you said homie nice. And I was like, well, they don't have a home. So why would they be homies? Oh! Banish nice. Well, remember this? Remember this me? Okay, I really wanted to lay a trap. Wait, how did I go in a big circle? Where am I? Wait, you, you're golden? Well, now I want to murder you. Thanks for the runes, loser. 
Okay, so it's not here, and I think this is next? Ah, oh, this area is a confusing mess. But I think I know where you go. I think I do be knowing. This is where I fought the boss. This is Godskin Duo. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not the right spot. No, it's this one. No, it's this one? <laughs> where am I? No, this isn't it. I want to go over, like, there or something. Ah! Is this one? This is the-, the uh, Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> oh, Faramazula. I wonder about the name, too. It's an interesting one. Faramazula. It makes- it feels like something out of Indiana Jones. Do you know what I mean? Like, Raiders of Faramazula. It belongs in a museum! The Shard of Alexander? You can't sell it. It's an antiquity. Etc, etc, you know what I mean? Also sounds like something out of Avatar, but quite possibly just because of Azula. Okay, so this is what I think I saw. It's still too- still cooled down? Yeah, probably because I spammed it and I bought some Atomy now. Okay. So, I saw this. And then, I saw... That! There you go! This is what I saw. So, I saw this thingy. And then I see a little path down there that I never noticed previously. That's a little sneaky. Yeah, this is the type of thing I just I just explored so long. Or um sorry. It took so long to beat this area that I kind of forgot about this. Like I saw this quite a while ago and I was like, this looks almost borderline walkable in a really mean way. Uh, but I never noticed this, but once I saw it, I knew where to go. Easy game. Okay. I don't like this. this. This does not appear to be a path. Now I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I heading toward? Oh Jesus. Oh my lord. Hello? Hello? What do you mean lie down? Well, okay. I, I'm really glad that my character just magically knows what to do, because I sure don't. Why is it sepia? Am I going back in time? Oh, that's freaking sick. That's freaking sick. Ow. Ow. And now the bridge is repaired, so... I basically laid down in an empty grave yet again, just by the way. Oh my god, it's an arena. But for what? Oh my god. What is that? It's a dragon. He's got like bronze in there. What? 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 Two heads! Two heads! Two heads! No, two dragons. No, two heads. What? He's just floating there. He's spinning. He looks like uh it looks like a, it looks like something. What does it look like? Oh, 
fuck is going on? I'm scared as hell. This is a massive arena. Okay, so we just kind of casually gone back in time and the storm has like expanded. What? Dragon Lord Plasudisax. Two heads! Two heads! It's the two fingers in a dragon form! He's got brass in there! They got brass in there! Canonically, they! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Panic! <laughs> this is beautiful! This is beautiful! Oh my god! It's it's all cut off! And like choppy. It, it's and it's decayed kinda like the two fingers. <gasps> but it's bronze in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it wait, is it grafted? Do you think? It looks grafted. Are you okay? <gasps> There's a third head! It's cut off though! It's a hydra! It's a hydra! Oh god, no. No, 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 no. I don't know what that does. I don't know what he did. Uh, ha, ah, why, why it's so big? Holy shit! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This is terrifying. No! No! Yeah, w oh, I, oh, I, I fucking threw, dude. I'm dead. Yup. Oh my god. Look at this! <gasps> Is it a grafted dragon? Did we go back in time? Or do we not? Like, it kind of. Oh, but, 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 but. Are you gonna make me run all the way there? It's a stinky video game. You're really- like, dude, you're gonna fucking tell me that there's like a bonfire for everything and then three-headed fucking dingus dragon gets just like a bad run-up with a bunch of burbs in it? How dare you? How dare you? Give me a steak of Marika. Unbelievable. Um, excuse me, um, I'm spoiled now. I'm used to having zero run-ups. This is toxic. This is toxic. Toxic gaming. It's actually not too far, too far of a run. It's just like, it's just like worse than everything else in the game because the game is so nice to you for runbacks. Why are you already ready for me? Can you fuck off? How's that? How about that? How about you fuck off? Huh? No. God no. Jesus God. Why? What a name. Because it, it the root word of the name is placid, as in like gentle and non-violent and calm and then it's just like placidusax and it's like i'm real aggro i don't be any placid no placidity here i just don't like when you're in combat it takes stamina when you run like i understand why but i'm just trying to run from the mean burps are you disturbing him for no reason he exists and thus i must kill him what other reason do i need How are you not going to give me a steak, Marika? This is illegal behavior. I really like this. This is sick. This is really weird. I want to watch it again. Because look, the storm gets bigger, so it puts you in the eye of the storm and undoes all the destruction of the volcano tornado going over it. I really like how he's just floating, or they're just floating, like, you know, awkwardly in the air. Like, it's it's very, uh... Eldritch. It's unidentifiable being. Sort of sleeping. Like an egg. And then where it's cut off, its inside is, like, bronze. That's really cool. And just like the... Look how it's positioned! It's it's straight up in the air, looking upward, exactly like the two fingers when they're communicating with the greater will. That cannot be insignificant. That has to be significant.
but oh. Dragon Lord Placenta Sack? It do be kinda of placenta! I shouldn't have gone for the second one, admittedly. Ooh, ooh. Wait, did you fall? Where are you going? Oh, he screamed. Oh, he upset. Oh, he vanished. What? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 I don't like it. I'll get over it. Let's get Nebula, you dingus. No one cares about you. Hey! I don't have a lot of magic. Can you chill? So I wonder if this thing's like... Oh my god, I don't like that. Where, 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 you're stinky. Just kidding, you're really fucking cool. Oh! Okay, so he's not doing the, the fucking move that's like a literal goddamn nuke, but he's doing a lot of garbage. Oh, Lord. Dude, I'm literally rolling. Can you fuck off? No, 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 go, go. You're body blocking me. Go, 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 hit him in the face! Oh, that is a sick visceral. Are you deceased, Placidus Axe? Placid, Placid, I did it! Remembrance of the Dragon Lord! It even looks like fingers in the picture. Look at it. It's like fingers with wings. That's some stuff. That is some stuff. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. Placidusax. Placidusax. That was awesome. That was a fun one. That was fucking sick. That was unbelievable. I was not expecting that. Got a trophy for it. Dra Dragon Lord Placidusax. Acidusax. I don't like that name. Sick design. Let's look at the remembrance, which should be. There we go. Uh, remembrance of the Dragon Lord Placidusax, hewn into the Erd Tree. The Dragon Lord, whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time, is said to have been Elden Lord in the age before the Erd Tree. Once his god was fled, the Lord continued to await its return. So that means that when the fingers... Okay, so let, let's let's take this a few steps back. This thing is supposed to be the two fingers, but like sort of like the two fingers. Because it's you could literally see it looking like the two fingers. We're supposed to notice that 100%. And then... And then... Um, it's waiting re for a return. And what is it doing but sitting in the position that the two fingers are in where it's conferring with the greater will? So it kind of seems like this, the Dragon Lord was the equivalent to the two fingers, perhaps. So the Elden Lord communicates with the greater will too. So maybe the Elden, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. There's definitely some lore that I don't have all the, all the bits and pieces yet. Um, but there's something there for sure. Why would he be about the two fingers and the Elden Lord? Well, what existed before the Erd Tree did? The Crucible. And what is the Crucible but a combination of everything? All beings fused together. 
So it kind of seems like there was an age of the dragons and perhaps beings took on multiple roles. There's something to be found here. I'm really interested in this. Let's see what we can get from that. That's freaking juicy. I don't know if we're done here though. So we, we do have to explore more. Like I want to really just go through the area, but that was a really cool find. That kind of answers a question that I was uh, curious about for sure in terms of like location. No idea this dragon was so important. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Like, you know, I'm just kind of like spitballing ideas here. God, we got a lot of souls for that. <gasps> oh, dude. Oh, is this for Loretta? Oh my God. Yeah, for Loretta. Oh, bruh. Silver Helm of Loretta, a knight who served Mikola's Halligtree. Loretta, once a royal Carian knight, went on a journey in search of a haven for Albinarix and determined that the Halig tree was their best chance for eternal salvation. Also, she was not an Albinaric. Loretta was once a royal Carian knight and her lapis lazuli blue cape is the emblem of the knightly pride that continues to guide her. So she's the Albinaric white knight. Dragon King's Crag Blade? Piercing Gravelstone Sword containing Primeval Lightning, a portion of the Dragon Lord's power gained from a remembrance. This weapon commands great power over the paltry, mortal dragons of today. Thundercloud Form. Temporarily transform into a red thundercloud and fly through the air, then plunge down with a lightning-infused blade. I think I, de I dealt with this in PvP literally the other day, and I was like, I have no idea what this is. Plasudisax's oh, Ruin. I do not like that name. It does not feel good on the tongue. Uh, power gleaned from the remembrance of Dragon Lord Dingus. Transforms caster into the Dragon Lord to spew golden breath from above. I remember! I wondered what this was! I did This incantation can be cast while jumping. These are the dying whales of the Dragon Lord who once dwelled eternally beyond time. Uh, we're taking the Cragblade. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Wow. So many lasers. So many lasers. Okay. We explore Faramazula more. Will Sudasax never complain about pronouncing your name? Because he never remembered it, even though I told him so many times. Man, this place. I love it, but I also hate it a little. Plus is so pretty, love the design. Oh my god, right? Yes. It's and the way it's rotted makes me think exactly of the two fingers. It's definitely intentional. And what's interesting is that it's actually got a third finger, but it's cut off. Like uh, it's got a third head. Making it technically a hydra. But it's cut, which makes me once again think of the two and three fingers. New tag graphs, I was glad I saw it this time. Yeah, I'm so glad I saw that, even though it was horrible and brutal, I never want to see it again, you know? Four stumps, but two heads? Could be four. I couldn't see another one, but like, either way. It's just interesting to think of their, it representing two fingers, but there's fingers cut off, right? I do have some thoughts on Melania, by the way. Um, what I'm gonna do. I, I think I'm gonna equip Bloodhound Step on either an offhand dagger or a curved sword. Um, and just swap to it so I can use it, and then swap back so I can use Nebula. Um, for the delete button. Um attack that she does. It's stupid, but it's better than dying, so. We're almost done with the area, I think, fortunately. Sounds resourceful. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think that's stupid. It's not stupid so much as, like, I don't like having to do it. And it does use up mana, so it's kind of... It's not a waste, because it's, it's it'll hopefully help us win, right? And survive more consistently. I just... I just hate having to do it. And it's not a big deal. You know, I know I complain about when bosses make you switch your entire build around. This is not a, a switch your entire build around. It's like adapting to what the game is throwing at you. Um, I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. I should have thought of it sooner. Honestly, I just, it didn't come to my mind, you know? I know that there's Quick Step and Bloodhound Step. I even use Bloodhound Step in, um, in PvP all the time. Bloodhound Step is allowed for my items only run. Depends on what you consider ashes, right? A 
Adapting is fun, respecking entirely isn't. Yeah, I think I'm just tired of the boss, so I'm not excited, like, to do that, if that makes sense. Is the shield easier? No, because if you block, she still heals. So no, it's actually not. That's the thing. This is my opinion on Bloodhound Step. I know it's 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 kind of broken, most definitely. Um, but I use it as an invader. And I think it's important because, you know, people are going to throw some bonker shit at you. You're already outmatched. So I don't see the harm in using it. When the, when the odds are against you. Uh, the most annoying time is when people use it in ganks because, well, you don't need more advantages. Like in a gang, like you really don't. So when you have like three people all bloodhound stepping toward you, it's it's just like, well, wow, it's really great of you to use the broken thing. When you already have every advantage in the entire book. But it'd be like that. People are gonna do that. So be it. Hey, what is this? What is this? Have I been here? What is this? One of these is gonna be alive, maybe? Why does this not look familiar? Because I haven't been here, it looks like. Wait, what? Huh. Invaded by Rick, he's a Bernal! It's Bernal! Yo! Let's go! Let's go invasion! I remember because I jumped down to the left to grab the Drake Wing. Do you remember that? And I never, I didn't notice this. I thought this led down there. But it doesn't, it leads here. Why are you killing me? Because I killed Tanith? Oh, maybe because I killed Tanith. You don't care, what do you give a shit? You probably give a shit. I'm, go I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought your quest was done. That's my bad. So, if you're mad at me for that, my bad. Uh, also, obviously, chat, don't tell me, because I want to find out on my own. Interesting. He do be trapping me, though. Nice try, Dingus. I'm the invader champion, though. <gasps> Blasphemous Claw, Devour Receptor, Beast Champion, Helm... Oh my god, this is a lot of stuff. Okay. Blasphemous Claw, Devour Receptor, Beast Champion, Helm, Armor, Gauntlets, Greaves. Wow, that was a treasure trove. A loop pinata! Yeah! And his voice, yeah, he had like unique like... You know? That was sick. That was sick. There it is. Devourer Scepter. A scepter in the shape of a serpent devouring the world. Oh my god. A serpent devouring the world. Like Yggdrasil. Sorry, not Yggdrasil. Uh, Jormungandr. This weapon will one day become the very symbol of the Lord of Blasphemy, one of the legendary armaments. A vision of the future briefly seen by Rikard in his final moments before being devoured by the Great Serpent. That's so Aldrich. That's incredibly Aldrich. I don't know what item, like where the Blasphemous thing went. I think it just went here. I think it's one of these. There it is. It's one of like the uses consumable but isn't a consumable. A blasphemous claw, a slab of rock engraved with traces of the rune of death, can deflect the power of the black blade. On the night of the dire plot, Ronnie rewarded Praetor Rikard with these traces. Should the coming trespass one day transpire, they would serve as a last resort fo foil, allowing Rikard to challenge Malaketh the black blade, the black beast of destined death. Okay, so that's a lot of lore. Hello? So Rikard is supposed to do it, but Bernal has it. Interesting as hell. This is some lore. I don't quite know what to do with that yet. Beast Champion Helm, and as discussed, it's like two lions fighting one another. Silver Helm engraved with tiny beasts, worn by Bernal the Recusant. The beasts, their eyes and ears covered, represent an oath. See nothing, hear nothing, doubt nothing, and carry on along the path set in stone. 
That's why Bernal warns you so hard to not become a recusant because this is the path that he believes is set in stone because that's his whole thing. Is that the path is set in stone for him, but everyone else is a choice. Ah, right. Beast champion armor altered. Silver armor engraved with tiny beasts worn by Bernal the recusant. Beasts are drawn to champions and to lords, and this armor befits a champion worthy of becoming a lord, and that is what Bernal was until his maiden threw herself into the fire. Oh, wait. Okay. 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 Wait a second. Okay. I need to add to Bernal's notes. So Bernal is like Vike in that he is someone who could have become a lord. But he changed his mind. <gasps> maybe, maybe he wasn't lying. Maybe he wasn't lying when he said that he's of the Golden Order, but then he changed his mind after his maiden died. Maybe he actually progresses through time as we meet him. Melina tells us that she will handle the cinders when we get to the Fire Giant's Flame or whatever, right? And what she doesn't tell us, but we learn from other figures, it's hinted at by Enya, I believe, and then told to us directly by Shabriri, is that the maiden, our maiden, has to sacrifice herself, will, ha will have to burn, uh, in order for us to acquire the flame. To access the Earth Tree. Remember something about kindling being a keyword? Exactly. Kindling is a keyword. Um, that's one of the paths that we can take, is we, we allow Melina to... So I, I, I didn't do it, so do not tell me. Uh, what happens, but like it's hinted at that she's going to somehow sacrifice herself, burn herself, and then we get the flame and, uh, and do the journey. Um, and that sounds like what Bernal was doing. So he was doing the right path. He was following the path. He listened to his maiden. And then after his maiden threw himself, threw herself into the fire, he apparently became a recusant because he wanted to, he was so angry at the greater will and the two fingers that he became the opposite. And he joined, and he became a champion of the Recusants and Rikard. And that's really interesting. Rikard seems to have allied with Ronnie then. Oh, and Vike. The reason Vike is related is that Vike takes the other path that we can take. He didn't want his maiden to sacrifice herself, so he instead joined the Flame of Frenzy to save his maiden. And to be fair, she ain't dead. She's just chilling. She's alive, but she's like, kind of dead because we can get blood from her like fresh blood so in souls games in fromsoft games there's normally a character that represents us like someone that does a similar journey to us so like um it's sometimes it's cut content like oscar from dark souls one was apparently supposed to journey with us um and it's sort of like an equivalent to us which is why the elite night set is like the cover art because it's like supposed to be the hero kind of in a way um, and this game seems to have more than one. We have Bernal, and we have, uh, Vike. And Vike is actually the cover armor of the game. Someone told me that, and I noticed when I finally looked at it. But if you look at the cover of Elden Ring, like the art, it's, it's Vike's armor. Still said that was cut? Yeah. Astrava? Astrava, I would say, counts. DS3 Gunder count? Not really. Fingerprint or no? Apparently it is fingerprint, yeah. I, I didn't look at it super closely. I'm not the best at telling armor. Um, but when I looked at it, I was like, that sure do be looking like the fingerprint armor. But it's on the non-burn side. You can't see it as well. It doesn't look burnt, I think. Uh, do I have the case here somewhere? Let me throw the Interesting lore. Yeah, see? It's on the non-burnt side. So it looks like very elite nighty. And it, it's almost a silhouette, but it's definitely it. With the blown out cape. The cape looks a little bit more intact, arguably, but not by much. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. So we're basically meeting people who have like really similar paths to us. The three finger story? Yeah, this playthrough I have indeed selected the three finger story. Kind of would have done more if I had known that Melina would leave. Like I didn't realize what the trigger would be. Um, but I probably missed some Melina dialogue, but that's okay, we'll get it in future. She was not happy with me. So this is really interesting. This was basically used as bait by Bernal, so I wonder what this is. 
Old Lord's Talisman. Oh my god. Could that be... Does, that kind of looks like Placidusax from like just the image. Let me take a look here. There it is. Four heads. It had four heads. Confirmed now. This is indeed Placidusax. A legendary talisman depicting the ancient king whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time extends the duration of sorceries and incantations. It is said that the ancient royal city of Faramazula has been slowly crumbling since time immemorial. That's really interesting. So yeah, now we have confirmation that at its at its full form, the old lord had four heads. Interesting. Did I hear something about Bernal? Yeah, we just killed him. Try finger. Hope you'd find him. I had no idea I missed this. This is crazy. I'm really glad I double checked here. Th this is why I ran through the area. Um, and oh my god, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we went through again. I almost was like, hey, we found a boss good enough. But then I was like, no. All right, so we are pretty much done as far as I know and can tell. And I'm comfortable saying pretty much done with Fair Missoula. Um... Looking at my list here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Uh, Mel Melania. Melania. Let's try Let's try Melania a little bit. So I'm going to stick with a dagger with Bloodhound Step on it and just switch to it. Um, hopefully I don't have a difficulty with like swapping. Girl with three wolves in the statue that Malaketh is guarding? Yeah. I honestly think it represents Marika. But like any of the Empyreans would do too. Really. Because Ronnie does have three wolves outside her arena. She's linked with wolves, but like, so now we know is Marika. Wow, good start. So that helped, but like, at what cost? Still got hit quite a bit. I can probably time it better. You know, okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit for something. I'm doing a lot better now. You see the dodging? I'm doing better. Do you wanna know something else? I'm not doing anywhere near fucking enough and it pisses me the fuck off because I'm trying so hard. But I've gotten better, I can see it. But I don't feel like I'm, I'm good enough and that's such a fucking lame ass bummer. I thought I could step that. What are you doing, Step Blade of Mikola? Cheap. Are you gonna do your OP move now because you're losing or what? What's next? What's next on your fucking docket? Are you gonna do it? Yeah? Are you gonna do it? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. This is so slow, holy shit. Phase two, no summon? No, I've hit phase two, no summon a few times. Uh, okay, at least twice. But my first time getting to phase two was no summon. Um, uh, And then I got annoyed and I used Mimic Tear. But I'm not as grumpy as I was that day. I wasn't even grumpy. Respectfully. You can tell I'm being respectful because I'm doing my steeple. Respectfully, I just like her for her butterflies, okay? Okay. Like, just look at her. Look at the abs. She, like, look at just the... She's just so strong. I just want her to step on me, you know? Cutscenes almost make up for this fight's challenge. Yeah, that's true. Shouldn't have gone for three. <sighs> My nose is real itchy right now, Melania. You think you could? Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Feral balance, by the way. Who 
who's fair and balanced now, baby girl. You like that? Fuck! This shows my positioning. <laughs> I actually swore so loud that I bit myself. That hurt. Oh. Oh, I forgot she does the double back. Shit. Oh, I'm in danger. No! No, 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 I'm not ready. Please. You don't know what I've been. <sighs> You're so rude, Melania. You are so fucking rude. Twice you do that shit. Twice. How many times I Nebula in phase two? Once. I wasn't even spamming Nebula. God, I hate her so much. She's so toxic. She's so toxic. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are getting better though. That's for sure. Remember when I had one good run and it was like, wow, maybe I'm actually learning. And then the game was like, ah, fuck you. Come on. Let's go. You're doing great. some damage. Not today, bitch. No, you're not doing a second one. Chill, uh... Could you imagine? Just right at the fucking end, she's like, no, no, I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna just, like, nuke you again. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh! Yeah, Mimics here holding it down, surprisingly. No! No! I dodged that! You sneaky bitch! No! No. 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 I'm fucking done with your shit. I'm done with your fucking nonsense. You put the fucking controller down. Because when that shit happens and I just got up off the ground. No, no. 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 a little rude, but you know, who's counting? Oh, I didn't realize that was the move! I had no magic anyway, so that was a GG. I used too much magic. I used too much magic, so that was my fault. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Please. I'm using a quick step. It's not the best, but at least it's better than nothing. Oh, Mimic Tear. Mimic Tear, you saved my life. I love you. I- Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, Mimic Tear. Sacrificing herself for me. My queen. No! I knew it was coming, but I don't know the timing yet! No. Bad heal, bad heal, bad heal, bad heal. Uh, it's fine. I'm so nervous. This is the far as I've gone in so long, and she's already back to, like, healing and stuff, so it doesn't even matter. No one cares. I didn't know that that was the move! <laughs> I didn't recognize it! Everything she does looks the same! Because she's got these big wings! It's literally the same stance as phase one, I know, but it looks different! I don't know why. I, I got, like, excited as if I was in any way close and I looked at her health bar and I'm like, never mind. But for a moment, I, I believed for some stupid reason and it made me tilt and I wasn't aggressive because you gotta be aggressive or she's just gonna heal off you forever and she did that anyway. Uh, I don't I don't know why I care about getting to phase two. I've gotten to phase two so many fucking times. It's amazing. I'm just gonna choke. I'm just gonna get one shot by some bullshit. I am Melania, Blade of Nicola. Ow. This is not comfy. Bye, Chet. What am I doing? I'm so scared. Oh, 
don't know how I did it. No! Woo! 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 No! No, no! No, no, no! No! Fuck you! No! Ah! Everything you do sucks! Thanks for the content, Raph. No problem. Made of it. Save the rainforest by a stress ball. It's okay, I reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, I had a I had a love letter to Melania and I ripped it up. You'll get it tonight for sure. I hope so. I hope my willpower withstands it. That was so mean. It went so good, but it was like literally every broken ass shit. She's she's like Malaked. She spent so much time in the sky. Oh, oh that's a move. That's a move. I don't know why it looks so different to me in phase two. It's it looks like something else, and I don't know why I'm never ready for it. Honestly, I would have run out of juice in the middle of it anyway because I was low on magic, but I didn't have an opportunity to heal because I knew she would attack me. So it was like, I don't know what to do. I just stood, I stood there. I stood there and I died. Mimic dodges better than you? It's really, it's actually really funny because she doesn't dodge at all. Good dodge. Good dodge. Good dodge. I threw it at the end. But with the bad, the bad, the bad. Half ascended? I don't know why I did differently that time, I'll be honest with you, but I'm down. Inputs, you cheese lord. I don't know what a cheese lord is, but that's what she is. Really? No, 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 no. <laughs> Got some hype in the chat while I'm kicking Melania's ass, all right? Thank you so much for that! Oh my god! No, no! 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 How? How? My sanity is slipping. It's slipping away from me. She was one hit and then she hit me 80 billion times. Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go. We got time. We got time. You have time in full mimic? I'm so in mimic. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh! <sighs> okay. You know what time it is, baby! Just this once, Master, I have to go all out. Oh my god, the range is so much more than you'd expect. I may have just given her a sponge. Oh, fuck! But who cares at this point, because I'm a fucking sponge. I'm a sponge. We're all sponges on this glorious day, you know? Everybody's just sponging it up.
Yeah, so maybe tears useless in phase two. So that's a good test at least. But so am I! So am I! So what does it fucking matter, honestly? I can't see fucking shit that she's doing with the wings. No, actually, you can just die. Shouldn't have done that. chat. Defeated who? My match. Oh my fucking god, I'm shaking so much! I'm so scared! shaking i was so scared i was scared she was gonna do her thing that i couldn't dodge if she did one thing it would have been deleted <laughs> oh my god i'm free i'm free <laughs> yeah she did it twice and the flower twice the flower is easy to dodge though for me now at this point <sighs> so you beat millennia what are you going to do now? Uh, close up, retire from streaming, become an ascetic monk in the Himalayas. Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to become the Elven Lord. Yeah. I just want to sit and stare at this rune, because that's a pretty rune. I'm putting that on my fucking bar. That's my trophy. I'm put I'm never using a rune arc, but I'm putting that on my fucking bar. You ready for this? 4 a.m. here? It's, uh, 3. It do be 3 a.m. Let's read the lore and get her outfit, and then, and then, and then just feel good about ourselves. Oh my god. Remembrance of the Rot Goddess. Okay. A couple things we need to do, obviously. How many souls do I have? 480,000? Thank you for 469 bits! One per attempt! Dude, I think 469 attempts is probably the record for streamers in terms of I think I'm gonna take the most attempts out of everybody and you write that down. Weird flex, but okay, it's not a flex, it's an anti-flex. It's like when your muscle deflates. You know in cartoons where they do the muscle and it just goes down? That's me. I've taken more attempts than anyone. And I want you to understand that and know that, okay? Remembrance of Melania, goddess of rot, hewn into the Erd tree. Mikola and Melania are both the children of a single god. As such, they are both Empyreans, but suffered afflictions from birth. 
One was cursed with eternal childhood, and the other harbored rot within. Oh my god. I know exactly what this is. Oh my god. Okay, two things, three things. Okay, lore. The concept of a single goddess giving birth? Uh, it says uh, god, of course, but there's precedent. In Greek myth, uh, Zeus gives birth to Athena because he gets a headache and she pops out of his head. Athena does not have a mother. She only has a father, Zeus, right? But, but Hera was salty because she's like, how dare you have a child without me, your wife? Uh, even though we had lots of children with lots of people. And she was upset. So she decided to do the same. And she, without Zeus's help, gave birth to Hephaestus, who is famously a god who was born very weak. He's a talented blacksmith, but physically he's weak. Um, he's like, like kind of like an old man. He was like born an old man. So he's like not physically strong, but he's an excellent blacksmith, the blacksmith of the gods. I think that's where Hephaestus comes from. I might be misremembering, but just to get to it, basically this idea of a single god giving birth to beings that are then afflicted from birth has background. Um, eternal childhood, god be Mikola, which makes sense why Melania was protecting Mikola in those statues. Uh, other harbored rot within. And that's very interesting when you think of Trina. Saint Trina is, there's this line that I always thought was weird. Uh, I don't remember what item it was. I think it was the torch. It says that there's something that depicts Saint Trina as an adult, which was very odd. So perhaps Mikola is Saint Trina. Maybe there's like, uh, like um, sort of like Greek and Rome, how they had the same myth, D same being, different myth kind of concept. So that's definitely an interesting part of it. That could be some. That could be a reference because why would it be unusual they're depicted as a child unless they're n they're not a child? Sorry, depicted as an adult unless they will never become an adult. And that's a really interesting line considering that. Um, that's really interesting. But what it's saying here is that what it's implying here is that Marika gave birth to Mikola and Melania alone, um, without. Godfrey. So Godfrey is not their father. They do not have a father. It's only Ma Marika. But of course, Marika is Radigan. So there's sort of like that... What is that, what's that thing called? I keep talking about it in alchemy. A rebus. Uh, there's some hints that Marika and, and Radigan may be a rebus. So considering that, quite possibly... Oh, hang on. So you know how Mikkel is... Maybe, maybe... Okay, I, there's so much lore from this one thing. Yeah, this is my new favorite lore. Then we go into the link between Trina and Mikola and dreams and sleep. So Trina is uh, a figure that seems to be like almost like a goddess of sleep. And we have several figures that are described as dreaming. Um, a lot of, the, there's a lot of like people sitting in chairs that just are dead, like bodies. And I always thought maybe they're dreamers. And it's a, it's a reference from Bloodborne, how the um, school of Mensis went into the dream by sitting in a chair like they sort of did a ritual. I thought it might be a reference to that and a reference to Trina because beings are searching for Trina in dreams. Um, and that could have something to do with why people like Ranala are described as, as dreaming. Like Ronnie talks about it, how, she, how we can't disturb her mother's dream or something. And then Mikola's like in a cocoon, in a form of sleep. Whether it's forced upon... And it's... I don't think that the cocoon was forced upon Mikola. I think it was, um... Something he does. Because he's associated with spinning. And he... There's bunches of cocoons in the halig tree, right? So it's kind of like... Oh my god. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just saying lots of words because I'm all t t twisted. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get across that there's lots of links. Like, this is a really important puzzle piece that helps us put together a shit ton of lore. Oh my god. Let's go get our outfit. <laughs> okay. Melania's Great Rune. So, it's one of these. It's one of these special ones. The Great Rune of the Shardbearer Melania, devoid of any benediction. Seek the isolated divine tower which stands beyond the lost great bridge. I know exactly where to go. I figured this would be the case. Let's go do that. Oh my god, my head is freaking spinning. Oh, thank god. Okay, we are gonna do... Is there a bonfire here? It is. Perfect. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm actually dead. My head is freaking pa- Oh, hello? Scarlet Rot? Flower? Return unalloyed gold needle. Okay, yeah, one second before we make any grand decisions like that? Let's go talk to Gowry. Did you like the fight? I hated it. I never want to do it again. Melania, do you detest? Worth a shot. So, remember how in the cutscene we look at this tree? Like, what's up with this? Something I can interact with? Or is it just like, pretty? <sighs> okay. So we do look at the tree and we look up. Where do we look up? I hope there's something I'm supposed to see because I can't see super well. We look like around there. Honestly, I don't see anything. I just see a tree. It's pretty though. Okay, hi. Return unalloyed gold needle. Let's do it. Mikola's needle. There we go. I remember reading about this. We got a lore tablet about this. This will help prevent the spread of frenzy or something, something. It sounds important. Mikola's needle. One of the unalloyed gold needles that Mikola crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. Oh, so that means there's an outer god of rot. Maybe an outer god of sleep as well? Capable of subduing the flame of frenzy if inherited, allowing one to cheat fate and avoid becoming Lord of Frenzied Flame. Oh! However, the needle is as yet unfinished and can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time, said to be found in Faramazula. Ah! So you could undo, you can change your ending if you if you did the, the, fra the Frenzy Flame. So that's really interesting, actually. It's beautiful. I can't wait to look at it more. Okay. Wow, that is so worth. So she blooms into this flower. Hey, Enya! Oh, Melania's winged helm. Winged helm made of unalloyed gold, worn by Melania, blade of Mikola. Melania awaited Mikola at the foot of the husk. The husk? My brother will keep his promise. He possesses the wisdom, the allure of a god. He is the most fearsome Empyrean of all. Sad. Melania's armor. Same thing. The wisdom, the allure of a god. Most fierce and pure at all. It's actually really sweet how much they loved each other. Hand of Mikola! Blade built into Melania's prosthetic arm. I see! Okay. Through consecration, it is resistant to rot. Melania's war prosthesis symbolized her victories. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft. Wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. Unique skill, waterfowl dance. Perform a series of one-footed leaps in the manner of a waterfowl to unleash a swift yet graceful slashing combo. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks. Yeah, she can do like 80 follow-up attacks, by the way. Uh, Scarlet Aeonia. Technique of Melania, the goddess of rot. Creates a gigantic flower that blooms into an explosion of scarlet rot. Each time the scarlet flower blooms, Melania's rot advances. It has bloomed twice already. With the third bloom, she will become a true goddess. Oh, damn? We're obviously taking this. But I kind of want both. So we'll do the- we'll refresh the thing. Okay, and now you know what we gotta do. What we do to all of our vanquished foes. We put on their clothing. And look cool. They actually look so cute. I love it. I love it! We did it! We are the Melania now! Let's go! Raffarino, goddess of toxicity. Woo! Oh my god. I'm free, chat. I'm free. Thank you all for being here. I need to end. I am so tired. But I beat her. I beat her, chat. We finished Faramazula. We did the dragon boss. The hidden secret dragon boss. We did, um... 
burn all this quest side. We got some sick lore and we beat Melania. That's literally all we did today. And that is all I ever wanted to do. Thank you all for the GG's. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this wonderful moment. I was terrified. I didn't think we'd ever get this done. I was like, I don't know what to do. And I did it. I did it. I did it. It feels so good. Oh my gosh.